In this example, I machining of a bracket, the next operation is defined to machine away the excess material from the center through hole of the part. Now this excess material was used for clamping from the first setup. To open the iMachining Operation dialog box, double click iRough Back Center Hole in the cam tray. By clicking the Show button on the geometry page, we can see that a single closed chain is defined. Go ahead and exit the Show Geometry dialog box. Switching to the tool page, you'll see that we are again using the half inch diameter end mill. On the levels page, we can see that the milling levels are defined as well as a negative 50 thou delta depth. On the technology wizard page, the default cutting conditions are used based on a machining level aggressiveness of six. On the technology page, the default allowance can be used for the wall since the desired wall was finished during the top side machining. Let's click simulate to take a look at the iMachining toolpath at work. Using the default HostCAD mode, go ahead and click the play button. We see that the tool performs a helical entry into the pocket area and clears out the excess material. Let's also look at the simulation using Solid Verify. Click play again to view the cutting tool moving through the solid stock material. Well, that just about does it for the cutting of excess material from the through hole. We can close the simulation control panel and the iMachining Operation dialog box with the exit buttons. Next, we'll take a look at the iMachining operation defined to perform the bottom face machining. 